Gregor, once again, thank you for joining us here on Facebook Live. I just want to quickly start off by looking back to the England game. Uh, a tremendous result a few weeks ago here at BT Murrayfield. You've had some time to reflect on that match. What are your thoughts on that special day? Yeah, it was, it was, it was a great day. I think the whole occasion was, was fantastic. The, the atmosphere before the game, the atmosphere after the game, the, the joy that the, the players had um, winning back that trophy. Uh, and then there was the game itself, and we were so proud of the players' efforts, their their ability, their focus, um, their commitment. We we started with real intent to to play rugby in wider channels, um, to be aggressive in defence, uh, and t we took our opportunities, which was great. And then the second half, uh, the game did slow down a little bit, but there was there was a lot of play played in the England half, which was great to see. We did have probably two more opportunities that we didn't take, but the, the defensive effort at the end was, was outstanding. This week, earlier this week, you announced a, a, a new squad, um, an updated squad for the NatWest Six Nations. Um, Fraser Brown, Richie Gray, George Horn, to name a few, came into to the mix. Uh, what's the benefit of bringing in uh, fresh faces at this point in the campaign? Well, it's great. We, we, it shows we've got depth. Um, we wanted to reward players that have been playing very well for the clubs, uh, both Glasgow and Edinburgh. Uh, didn't have games this week, so it was an opportunity to to bring someone like George Horn in, who's who's been playing really well. A uh, chance for us to work with him, um, for him to work with the, the other international players we have, and also some some of the players come back from injury. That that was a real boost for us. Uh, Byron and, and Alex Dunbar, who'd who had hamstring injuries, were back. Fraser Brown um, back available. Richie Gray, uh, Zander. So these are these are quality players that have played very well for Scotland in the past. Uh, it added to our training, the quality of our sessions, uh, added motivation for them that are coming back, but also the, the team that are preparing to play Ireland. When it comes to team selection, when you've got these players coming in, when you've got a, a group of players who are in good form, does it make your the task of team selection in a, in a strange way? It's a more difficult process, but in a, in a good in a good sense. It's uh, it's definitely easier to to pick a team that's that's been winning. Um, but you go through the same process. Uh, you have more players available, so you you look at what they're doing and for their clubs, what they're doing for, um, sorry, what they did for Scotland in the past, and, and what they're doing in training. Uh, whether they've deserved that that chance to get in the squad, uh, and then you look you look at the players um, that are playing well, and you want you want to reward them for that. There's obviously big benefits to having a similar squad and the cohesion that that, that can provide as you improve and work together they're at this championship and part of it is looking at the opposition looking at what type of game we we might face against Ireland the challenges um, that they bring and what we need to do to beat them with that in mind you've, you've chosen the, the team to, to face Ireland and, and Dublin this weekend um, a number of changes um, Fraser Brown comes onto the bench um, Blair Kinghorn starts at 14 Lee Jones is onto the bench a few changes just talk us through that selection yeah well it was going to be uh, the same Team, same starting team that played against England and France, but uh, Tommy Seymour hasn't recovered from it, from his injury, uh, so Blair gets that opportunity to start in the, in the back three. He came on for Tommy against England. He's trained really well. He's been a very good run of form with Edinburgh. It gives us um, the balance of the back three. Um, all players that have played at 15 um, fairly regularly. Uh, we expect a lot of kicking, um, and there's times that we'll have to kick as well. So. We feel that balance is right for this weekend. Lee Jones has been in very good form all season, played really well for Scotland in November and has trained really well this week. So it was a close decision, but with Lee being on the bench, we, we know we've got real quality there. And, and Fraser Brown uh, coming back uh, is a boost for us. He was hoping to play for Glasgow last weekend. The, the game was called off, but he, he trained with us on Friday. He's trained really well. Uh, and his his quality, his experience, um, his toughness as well is something that will really help us this week against Ireland. As it is an away game, there's always a different uh, a different feel perhaps to, to, to these games. Does that have any effect on you as a coach or the coaching team to, to prepare? Does your schedule or training change depending on where you're playing the game? No, obviously you've got to, you've got to fit travel in and we... Um, we prefer to, to get our preparation right um, here, so we, we will leave on the Friday day before the game, which is um, what the players are used to doing at, at club level, uh, which means that we can cover everything we need to cover at Murrayfield. Um, 
BT Murrayfield and Orium. Uh, I think the, there is obviously the the element that we um, haven't done that well in the Six Nations away from home. So we, we've discussed it a lot this week. And for for us as a management group and also the players, um, we, we see that Wales game as, as, a, as a blip. It wasn't us that, uh, that played that day. Um, but we have a second opportunity now um, to learn from why things didn't go that well against Wales uh, and in a much bigger game, something that really at stake for us um, a chance to go to the final weekend with um, with our hopes of the championship still alive. What elements of Ireland's game do we need to look out for this weekend? Lots. They, they are a very well-coached team. Um, they're a team that have evolved together over the last few years, have had a lot of success. They get the detail of their game right in almost every area, whether that's set-piece, um, contact, uh, their attacking game their kicking game especially they've got two outstanding uh, half backs in Conor Murray and, and Johnny Sexton they, they're just a really effective efficient side uh, and they will take opportunities if you give them um, they will get into your half at times uh, and we've got to make sure that we we don't give them any easy opportunities we defend very well against them make it difficult for their their attack and we also impose our strengths in the game and we, we've been building with, with our attack and we, we feel there's much more to come. Gregor, once again, thank you very much for your time here at BT Murrayfield and best of luck for the weekend. Thank you.